this is the outro chord progression to the song Catch On. And if, if you've been watching these episodes, you might be able to tell that I really like circular chord progressions, right? So this idea of putting together specific chords um, and having what we could also call harmonic rhythm, which means like the feeling of being pushed forward or pulled back based on your harmonic choices as well as rhythmic choices. And this chord progression is just made up of um, six different major chords, right? So if you look at the chord chart, we've got a C chord, which goes to an A, B to G, A to F. And it's kind of an irregular shape, right? So it's three measures instead of four. Um, and that can add to that circularity where you start to feel like you wonder where the beginning is, or maybe the beginning always comes a little too soon. And so um, I like also playing this progression in uh, uh, using this kind of open E shape on guitar, which I use for, for each chord. I'll show you some fun inversions in a second, but this reminds me of playing um, like No Excuses by Alice in Chains in high school. A lot of praise and worship music does this stuff as well. So if you go, you get the chime of your open B and E strings for all of these chords, right? So this kind of, that those two strings will really allow you to redefine every single one of these chords as you strum through them, and luckily they work. It starts over there. So one thing I found when I put that progression together is that you could also use it as a great exercise to um, work on your inversions as a guitar player, basically. So if I just start lower on the neck and I think through these, these chords, um, I could take an inversion where I put the five of C in the bass, go to A, B, G, C, A, B, G, A. So I'm not doing this very strictly, but I'm just kind of trying to play the progression, a progression that naturally descends and trying to actually ascend as I play it. So let me improvise this a little bit. If I mess up, uh, it's okay. We're, we're all friends here, so. C, A, E, G, A, F, new section, B, G, A, F, C, A, B, G, A, the same kind of work on the next string, right? The next set of strings where A strings home bass. Uh, and so forth, right? So a fun exercise to grow your musical practice, whether you're playing guitar, piano, or any instrument, is to take a progression that might naturally go one direction, like in this case, down, and try to use inversions up. So you get to go both ways at once. And that's the uh, outro progression to that song, Catch On, thanks.